Welcome to my latest dilemma. My buddy's hygienist bought a bike off me, but she wants a hybrid wheel. The spacing is 130 millimeters and the wheel is 135, so it won't fit. I'm gonna show you what I did to fix this. Now, you may be asking, that's not the same wheel. Well, you'd be correct. It's not the same wheel. I need to use a completely different wheel with a, a fully threaded axle in order to do this fix. So first off, what we're gonna do is loosen the lock nuts, if we can. <laughs> we're gonna loosen that off and then we're gonna replace the spacer. So as you can see with the caliper, it's 11 millimeters. What I did is I just replaced it with a six millimeter. Now, as we can see here, the axle protrudes uh, about two and a half millimeters. We know that the over lock nut distance is 135 millimeters. We removed an 11 millimeter spacer, and then we're gonna add a six millimeter spacer and a 2.5 millimeter spacer. And we're gonna try out an OLD of 132.5 millimeter. What I did is I respaced the axle and moved it towards the drive side. We uh, had the axle protruding, so in order to balance it out, because there's enough uh, room in the dropout, and uh, when you add the base from the hanger, it works out perfectly. Drops right into place. That way you don't have to cut the axle and you can reuse it, or you can change the wheel back to 135 if you ever wanted to, but at 132.5 spacing, it uh, is perfectly fine. You can use it in both frames, either a 130 mil or a 135. Unfortunately, no cutting is needed. <laughs> <Ooh -hoo. laughs> it's so much fun. Now the next dilemma is the dish. We can see that the dish is off and it has to move over to the drive side. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm because it's a single wall rim. I'm going to inspect the spoke to nipple top ratio. In other words, I'm going to see how much room I have to spare for when I tighten up one side and uh, whether the spokes will protrude. So as you can see what I did is I removed half a turn from the tension on the non-drive side, which moves the rim over to the drive side. Now it'll be once I tighten up the drive side where we'll see uh, how much uh, how much margin for error we really have. So what I did is I took, uh, now I've taken a full turn off the non-drive side and I've added half a turn onto the drive side. And you can see that there's plenty of space there. Unfortunately, there's not, it, there's a little too much thread showing in the nipple. It looks okay, but of course I'm gonna have to check it on the, using the, the dishing gauge and I had to uh, take another half turn off of the non-drive side. Now if we look, we can see that the, the spoke on the drive side isn't all the way to the top of the nipple. So we can still maybe put another half turn on there. And what this will do is it'll allow us to get a little bit more threading into the non-drive side nipples and increase the tension, which would probably be better for holding a, uh, a large amount of weight on the back for your commute. There, yeah, we can see that that half turn has brought the non-drive side up a little bit more into the thread, so it, it's a little bit better. Not ideal, but still better. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff if you need to. Okay, thanks.